All of his cousins, whom he reckons by the dozens, welcome the return of a man they consider a native son. President Kennedy takes tea with the clan at the farmhouse where his paternal great-grandfather was born. Duggan'stown has never seen a day like this before, and the Irish wit flows like tea. Jokes, like people thought there were no Kennedys left in Ireland, that they were all in Washington. The president cut quite a figure, and the cake. This is a pleasant interlude on his four-nation working tour, and who knows, secretly the president may consider it the highlight of his trip. Mr. Kennedy noted that he was glad to see a few cousins who didn't catch the boat. things must come to an end too soon. It's farewell as a helicopter takes the president to other receptions and other Irish honors. At New Ross, where his great-grandfather set sail, and at the ancient borough of Wexford, thousands cheer with the enthusiasm that only Irishmen can muster for one of their own. He is made a free man of the city. Among other things, this would entitle him to a bed in the poorhouse if he would ever be after needing it. Back in Dublin, Mr. Kennedy attends a garden party at the residence of President Edmund de Valera. He is literally mobbed by the 1,700 guests who choose to ignore the rain that falls. Damp weather, however, can't dim the most glorious day in Ireland since independence. Then it's back to business as Mr. Kennedy goes on to England for meetings with Prime Minister Macmillan. Two men are to discuss many problems that face the West, including the coming negotiations in Moscow for a nuclear test ban treaty. There is little doubt that the President's visit is also designed to bolster Macmillan's government, shaken by the recent Profumo scandal. Italy is the next and final country on the President's schedule. Here again, the government is in a state of change, with Premier Leone heading a stopgap cabinet under President Senghi, who greets Mr. Kennedy. This meeting with Italian leaders is nevertheless considered of prime importance because of Italy's role in the Atlantic Alliance. At the airport, the president says that Italy's place in the alliance is vital to all who believe in freedom. After his Italian talks and an audience with Pope Paul, the president will head for home once again.